So I want to go from where's the outrage to my outrage. Ooh. So, ooh, so this is Robert's Rage. Can we, can we have a new section, Robert's, Robert's Rage? rage. Robert's Rage. Wah! Rage. We need yeah, a as singer long as Robert's not on roids, you can have a rage. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Robert's, Robert's not and rage. roid rage? Yeah, yeah not no right. roid rage. Not right. So I re- there's another article, I think it was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where this homeless man, happens to be a black man, shoots two people, one in the library, one in some other restaurant, and the headlines are, black man shoots two white people. Now, I have to tell you, I was offended by that because the truth is, I care that this guy shot two people. I don't care the color. I mean, even the media now is so complicit in this and they're looking to get ratings. I mean, does it really matter that the black guy shot two white guys or just that some guy inadvertently shot two other guys? I'm so outraged that it has become so embedded in our culture that the first thing we always put out there, well, this white guy did this and this black guy did that and this Asian guy. I mean, who, I mean, we have so lost our compass and all it does is reinforce the division. Thank you, President Obama. That was been festering since then. I'm outraged that they, the lead story is black man shoots two white guys. Yeah. It's, you know, it is it is really disgusting, Robert. The to the extent to which uh, the media is trying to divide America along racial lines, and I can tell you that as as a woman in an interracial marriage, it has become more and more and more clear that that is what they are trying to do. You know, Benjamin and I have been together for 10 years. And when we first got together, no, we, there was no talk about, I mean, there's some people who are, are you know, don't think that races should intermingle. There's always been those voices. But there's people now online on social media talking about how terrible it is for a black man to wear a white woman. And it is now openly okay for people to say that interracial marriage is bad. And it's there's there's a concerted effort. I, I'm watching a concerted effort to bring us backward to the 1970s loving decision that made it legal for there to be interracial marriage. And and I just think it's really disgusting and and people need to be careful uh with their rhetoric and with the news to remember to see each other as individual human beings and not as racial groups. And, and you know what very well said I couldn't I couldn't say it better. I want to close this section on one other note. Uh, 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 it's sort of a personal one, I guess. Uh, I I blame. Look, the country's always had the racial divide, and trying yeah. to sort of perfect the nation is 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 a journey and not a destination. Mm. But I lay this at the feet of President Obama, who who really ripped the scars off of the all the divides in the country, mm. and because before that. I mean, I grew up with people of all sorts, you know, different race, creeds and colors. And I was, you know, on the mats and the martial arts for years with people from all walks of life. So that diversity thing, mm-hmm. you know, it was always, but we were always taught that that whole Martin Luther King um, philosophy about it's the content of someone's character, not the color of their skin. And after Obama, who divided black from white, rich from poor, men from women, you you name the, the social fissure, the mm-hmm. social divide, and he exacerbated it. That's so right. now the country, myself included, it's like the, it's like the lens of race, colors, no pun intended, everything. Yeah. And you can't not see it. And I frankly resent it and it's wrong. And all it does is divide us as a country. And I'm so tired of being divided as a country, pitting one little group against another, because all it does is let those, you know, knuckleheads in the uniparty, you know, um, the elites, if you will, yeah, just continue to, you know, try to have their way. In any event, that is Robert's rant, not on roids. Um, 